All right, I need y'all to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, we on the road to what seven seven thousand, but we're gonna start off by we on the road to six point one k. You feel me? Let's let's start off by getting that first hundred, and then after that, it's just like hundred piece, hundred piece. That's how I, I try to knock them down by hundreds and try to look at it from that that way and like understand that it can take a long time. As long as I get one subscriber there for the rest of my life, I should be set. Not like that, but I should be getting way more eventually. And then I go viral every now and then. And then do, do, do. Just stay consistent, bro. Don't give up. Kids, don't give up. What do you say we start our show in Boston? Yes, David, fireworks. We all had this one circled. Steph Curry and the Warriors, or should I say Steve Kerr? And oh, the here we go. Facing Jason Tatum. <laughs> and the Boston Celtics here. I say Steve Kerr because, Janae, as we head to TD Garden, you can see Steve taking the floor. Take a listen to what it sounded like when he was announced in starting lineups. The head coach of the Golden State Warriors is Steve Kerr. I didn't know head coaches get that type of announcement. They know they so pissed. That is the definition <laughs> of unbothered right there. <laughs> uh, and then, oh, wow. side, you everyone is making sure Steve Shade Kerr knows everywhere. the energy here. But Buddy Heald has been off to just a electric start here for the Golden State Warriors. He has the most threes to the first eight games with any franchise in NBA history. It's kind of crazy to say that he's out shooting right now per game at four than Steph Curry. That, that is From crazy. three. But Jason Tatum's jumper, it is looking good, Brian. And Steve Kerr calls a timeout. And this is not the player that was, that was there in July and August. Let's just and, be honest. And look at Steve Kerr holding Steph accountable because that was a Missed horrible show. Yeah. Yes. Well, I love Curry it. hits a nice three here. Makeup. Falls to the ground. <laughs> under a minute left in the half. Curry gets the steal. Hey, dribbles down hey. to the other end. Looking. And then... Finds Moses Moody there. This doesn't happen very often. Golden State led by 11 at the half and trailing by double digits. It's not a familiar spot for Boston. They really, though, Brian, turned it on in the third quarter here. Ooh. Peyton Pritchard dropping his defender, kicking it out to Tatum for the three. What they do, they hit the threes. They were a little bit slow in the first half. Second half got really cooking. But usually, Chanae, this is where you think, okay, the Boston Celtics are going to be getting back into control. The Warriors, they held their ground. Look, this game, I know we're seeing a lot of great offensive plays, but really it was won by defense. Absolutely. So here, I want you to take a listen to Tatum just downplaying the importance of this game. Here's what he said. My entire career, people want me to be, you know, louder. People want me to be mean or whatever. One thing about Jason is, like, I'm always going to do what the f I want to do. All right, so he's going to do what he wants to do. The Celtics, they scored 41 points in the third quarter after only scoring 40 in the entire first half here. Peyton Pritchard with the three. And all of this perk sets up for an excellent finish. So under seven to play. The Celtics up by four. Derek White here has the ball. Boston now up by seven. I mean, Derek White playing at an all-star caliber le level, averaging of what, 20 points this season? Uh-uh, you got to guard that man. <laughs> he was already <laughs> turning uh -uh. back as soon as it left his hand. <laughs> hey. Golden State clawing their way back here, down by one. Curry, nice little cut inside, gets that one to go as well. And all of a sudden, Golden State finds themselves back on top here. Trying to create the separation, Shanae Curry. Man, that was a tough finish. What I love about Steph Curry, he has not settled for threes. He attacks the paint. That float game was nice. And when he is doing that, and there's so much attention that's drawn to him, Boom. he can kick it back out more to Buddy Heald for the three. Yes, more on this, this coming up in just a minute. <laughs> Curry healed. They're loving it. The Warriors, they go into Boston to get the. He lost a brother. Damn, they're 7 and 1. The Warriors. This shit is scary, bro. Man, Curry, if you win again, bro, I swear to God, if you win again, bro, I swear to God, bro. Like. Can we have the conversation with seeing Curry's better? I guess y'all ain't looking at. I'm look. I don't know. I don't know. When it comes to the best player ever, what do, what do people go by? What are we going by, really? When here's Steve Kerr after the game. Boston was, uh, you know, without Jalen Brown and and Porzingis, so this is not their their best version uh, of their team, but are still damn good. Um, so it's a, it's a hell of a win in a tough environment. And we had some guys out too. And 
again, I love our depth. I think we're we're built to uh, to withstand uh, absences. Um, we get a lot of guys who can come in and play big minutes for us and and um, and help us win games like these. So um, it should obviously a big good win for us. So the Warriors have now opened 5-0 and on the road for just the second time in franchise history. The other time they did this, that's the year they went on to win an NBA record 73 games. But, Sinead, that team looked a whole lot different than this one. But maybe, is there a new splash relative in town? We're going to have to find a name for him. But we talked about this game as a test for both teams, but especially Golden State, to really see what this gut check could potentially be. And they absolutely handled this test. And what I love about this, y'all, is how they handled the dagger, the crunch time. So first... First, yeah, we're going to figure out a name for Steph and Buddy Heels. But as I break down the dagger, because this is a team that is number one in the NBA in bench points, you'll see exactly why, especially in clutch time. So first, I want to show you this. It's time and score. It's 108-104, two possession game, one minute left. So every possession matters. As this play progresses, first, I want to show you the two guys. One, it's Steph Curry handing the ball. Then it's Buddy Heels off the right wing. So what Steph is doing right here is he's probing. He's probing. He wants to force a switch, and he gets it. What is a switch right here? It's him versus Al Horford. Yep, he knows he can blow by him. So as Steph attacks, watch, Al Horford gets beat. This is where we enter the danger zone. How many players are watching? One, two, three Boston Celtics, none more costly than one Jason Tatum who was caught asleep. He is sleeping, watching Steph Curry, and this is costly because here, look at Buddy Heald. What he's going to do is typically when you have guards and you're moving on the perimeter, when I move, you move just like that. You're attached on a string. So what he will do is he's going to drift over as Steph attacks towards him to the right corner, and look how much space. Look how much space is available for him to operate. This man is a 51% three-point shooter, and guess what? That's all they wrote. There's the drift. Jason Tatum caught a sleep. Easy bucket. Tough contest by Derek White, but nonetheless, it did not matter. And that was just three points out of 25. The Golden State Warriors, they scored 25 points in clutch time. They're most in a regulation game in the Steve Kerr era. So that is truly, I know we hear it a lot, but by definition, that is strength in numbers. Yeah, I mean, we talked, uh, as you said, about this being a litmus test game. And the question heading into this one in NBA Countdown Park was, can they hang? Can the Golden State Warriors hang? They certainly did that. What did you learn about this team? <laughs> well, well, what I took away from last night was, one, I was right. That's the most important <laughs> thing ever, right? I was right. I was the only one that picked the Golden State Warriors. Here, Perk. And damn it, they went out there and did <laughs> Well done. Good there you go. By Steph Curry. Okay, this defense was so refreshing. I'm telling you, watching the Golden State Warriors, the way that they pick up 94 feet, they get physical, communicating on the switches from Moses Moody to Andrew Wiggins to Jonathan Kaminga. They are ferocious defensively. And look, they did an outstanding job last night without Pajipski. Yep. I mean, this team is real. And look, I would not be surprised if this team make it to the Western Conference Finals. I would not be surprised at all. So here's what's so fascinating about this. Steve Kerr is using an Olympic-style game plan mm. because the way the Americans play in the Olympics, they lean into the depth. They will do mass substitutions, and the reason they do that is so that their players can pour out energy on the defensive end. Steve Kerr is using 12 or 13 guys a night. He's averaging seven different guys, averaging 12 to 20 minutes. They pour it out on the defensive end. They put on 27 double teams in this game. That requires a lot of activity level. So the guys go out there, they, they crush it on defense. And look, Steve Kerr said, Jalen Brown wasn't here, Porzingis wasn't here. It's yeah, easier to double when you don't have those two options. Sure. It's easier to go at the basket when you don't have Porzingis. But it's actually Steve Kerr taking his Olympic experience applying it to this team, and it's working. Well, belief is a powerful thing, Mr. Renhorst. And so now this Golden State Warriors team off to a 7-1 and start, 5-0 and on the road. That's a very different tune than we've saying about this team <laughs> as a road team the last couple of True. years. Having that we-believe mentality for Golden yeah. State could be dangerous for the rest of the league. The Nuggets hand the Thunder their first loss of the season with a 124-122 victory. And Jokic became just the fifth player with a 20-20 and 15 game in NBA history. That that hasn't been done much recently. Only Russell Westbrook has put up that stat line besides Jokic since Wilt Chamberlain all the way back in 1968. But Denver has had a tough start to the season. Do you think, Brian, now is the time? Or are the Nuggets sort of turning into form? This was a very important game for, for Denver because obviously they beat Oklahoma City, which they badly needed with Aaron Gordon and Jamal Murray on the bench. But they did it with their young guys. 
at the end of the game, it was Peyton Watson, it was Julian Strother, and it was Christian Brown out there. Mike, Mal Mike Malone didn't have a choice. He had to trust them because of how depleted he was, and those guys delivered. If they're going to get to where they need to go, they need these guys to develop. Obviously, Jokic and their other stars are going to play a big role, but Malone hasn't always believed in these guys, and these guys haven't always delivered. This was a step in the right direction for them. I can't believe you didn't mention Russell Westbrook. Well, I left Brody. it for you, sir. <laughs> he, look, he's been more important to the Denver Nuggets this season than Jamal Murray has, okay? When you think about their five wins, three of those wins, you have to look at it. Russell Westbrook against the Nets, 22 points off the bench. A win against Toronto, he had 21 points off the bench. In the starting lineup last night, a 29-piece wing dinner, all drumsticks. And he shot two for three from the uh, three-point line. So, look, you talked about Russell Westbrook, you know, what he gives you. He gives you swag. He gives you confidence. That's one thing that he don't lack. And when he's able to have a role that is elevated, we saw what happened when he left the Lakers. What the fuck? This nigga had 29? Three from four from the three-point line, six rebounds, six assists, bro. Come on. He went to the Clippers. I'm he just was the right PG. He had a new uh, new, breath, new breath of fresh air. This is the same thing I'm noticing right now with the Denver Nuggets. He's actually been pl pretty, playing pretty damn good. But sometimes when you have drumsticks, you just need flats. You need a mix to match yeah. with that. You know what I mean? All flats. Yo, yo kitch is the flats, y'all. Like, that's <laughs> like the one that you can never miss with. Watching him play is... Anyways, we're going to like, comment, share, subscribe, vibe. I ain't going to do no extra. I love y'all.